friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for us to do yet a, another trash talk. I don't feel like I have a lot of items per se, but this bucket looks real full. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in here. I'll leave timestamps below for the different categories in case you care about others and less about some. So the first things we'll do is we'll start with wax. I have a lot of wax items in here. The first thing I have is this little like sleeve of, it was like a zucchini bread wax. This was some of the oldest wax that I had gotten from a D-Stash. The scent throw was just okay. I have a decent number of zucchini based wax blends and I see zucchini stuff a lot on like D-Stash pages and wax groups. I don't really understand the pull of the zucchini scent, but I managed to use this up. I don't know what company it came from, but I wasn't super thrilled by the scent. I also managed to finish up this scoopable wax from Fortune Cookie Soap, which was the You Had Me at Hollow. I don't really think I like scoopable wax. It's not my preferred format. I prefer just like a cube or a single piece that I can unwrap and put in. The scent of this was just so-so. It is 5.5 uh, ounces, so it's quite a bit of wax. It lasts me a really long time. So it's a good value for your money and it had a decent scent throw. I just wasn't super keen on the scent of this. I also melted Way Fetch Wax Tart. This came in their fall quarterly box last year, I believe, when they did their Mean Girls theme. I really liked this, oh, this scent a lot, but this wax was super difficult to get out of the container. It was really soft, but even when I would like cut it with a knife and try to pop it out, it was difficult to work with. And the scent longevity wasn't amazing. I just don't know if maybe it had reached its maximum life. And so that's why it was dying. But much as I love the scent, I wouldn't purchase this wax again. I also used up the, from the Bathing Garden Bubblegum Dreams. This was awesome. One cube of this will last so long and have such a strong scent throw. I definitely think the Bathing Garden has some of the best performance and bang for your buck with just how much it throws and how long it will throw for. I definitely was intrigued by a bubblegum scent and while I enjoyed this I definitely got my fix of it and I'm not someone who really would be looking for it again but I was glad to at least have tried it because I know the bubblegum candle that Bath and Butters came out with in the winter time was like a huge hyped up candle and I didn't pick it up um, so this sort of was my fix for that. From Sensationals I have the Nutty Butter Cookie Bars. Oh my gosh this was such a good chocolatey scent. I wouldn't really say there's much of a nut note to it or like a peanut note if you're looking for that. It really is just more of a chocolate guy. I paired this up with my um, chocolate and cannoli candle, I think it was from Bath and Body Works, and the two of those together were such a dream for my living room. I have from Rainbow Melts, this is the Smell the Rainbow Pirate Ship, which is sea salt, pomegranate, and juicy pears. This I had gotten in, I think it was the October like box that I had purchased. I was just so, so on it was kind of just like a generic salty scent so I wasn't a big fan of this. However, Dark Shadows, which is Raindrops, Ocean Mist, and Sage and Citrus, was magical. I really, really enjoyed this. The scent performance on both of these was really long. I had cut this into three different pieces and each one of them just, I mean, threw for like three or four days for four or five hours. So the performance of these were excellent, but I didn't think they fit very well with the October theme when I had first gotten these. I have just a few makeup items. The first one that I've used up is the Ico London Fat Liquid Liner. I do have another one of these. I like this a lot. It lasts a really long time. Um, when you look at the tip, you wouldn't necessarily think that there is no ink left in it because the tip held up really well, but it's no longer a thick, opaque line like I like, so this is officially done. I also managed to finish up my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is good, but I have a ton of mascaras I need to work through, so I will not be picking this up anytime soon, but if you're looking for one, I recommend. And then I have the Body Shop Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops. This kind of fell out of my makeup routine. It was something that I picked up right around the time that Cover FX came out with all their custom enhancing drops and then the body shop came out with a lightening and darkening version. So I grabbed theirs because it was just cheaper and it made more sense to me. And I was using it a lot when I was trying to use up foundations that really weren't the right shade for me. And then I was able to start using foundations that were naturally the right shade and this kind of fell to the wayside. But recently I had picked up some new foundations to kind of explore and they oxidize on my face. So I use this to help combat the oxidization. And these are great, repurchase these. I like these wait a bit. I have one Impress Manicure nail set. It's like a metallic pink with a matte light pink nail. 
These were nice. The metallic nail actually held up surprisingly well. Sometimes the metallic finishes either peel away or wear away and don't hold up that great throughout the week, but these are really awesome. We have a few body care, skincare items that I am decluttering. The first is the number seven Lift and Luminate Concentrated Dark Spot Serum. I don't really have dark spots on my face and I tried to use this as just a regular serum and it didn't really jive well with my skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch it. I'm also getting into the number seven Beautiful Skin Softening Heel and Foot Balm. If you were watching me in my Finish 6x6 challenge, I was trying to use this particular thing up, but I finally realized that this was actually dry drying my feet out and not moisturizing my feet. So it's time to let this puppy go. I'm also unfortunately decluttering the Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid Waterproof Aluminum Deodorant. This has expired, it expired in November of 2017. It was like somewhere in the hoarding closet, not where I normally keep my deodorants. And I'm not about to play with expired deodorant that has aluminum in it, so this is going. I'm getting rid of my Avon Advanced Techniques Frizz Control Lotus Shield Anti-Frizz Treatment for all hair types. This stuff is awful. I pulled this out of the hoarding closet because I used up, as you guys will see in a second, a Dove product. And I wanted to try this out. I brought it to Maine with me. I scrunched my hair and it I've never had that bad of a hair scrunching day. And this was the only variable that had changed. So this puppy is going. And then my last declutter item is the Sally Hansen Cream Hair Remover for Face and Aftercare Lotion. This I'm decluttering partly because it's on the older side so it needs to be thrown away but the other thing is I'm not going to be repurchasing this because I have since found that face shaving with the electronic razor that I bought works super well without any of this like funky smell and business in my life that can sometimes burn my skin so I no longer need to use this to remove the peach fuzz on my upper lip which is what I consistently remove from my face I have not yet gone back since I did my whole face shaving video I have not gone back and shaved the rest of the peach fuzz off of my face but I'm happy to no longer need this in my life all right let's talk about hair care First thing that I have that I whipped through is from Fortune Cookie Soap. It's the Tammy Sea Salt Spritz. This was only um, 4.6 ounces, so one of the smallest ones I've ever used, and I blew through it. Sea Salt Spray really isn't good for your hair anyway, so I'm probably not going to repurchase a spray from them unless they do a wave spray without salt in it. Um, I like the scent of this. It's what I have in my hair today. It's an okay curler, but nothing that will move the Way wave spray out of my life. Speaking of the Way wave spray, I also have this puppy used up. I am now down to the Victoria's Secret one, but I placed an order to have this on hand just in case there are those days where I need to have something solid that I know will last the whole day. I've also used up the Dove Advanced Hair Series Quench Absolute for curly, coarse hair. This is meant for like frizz control and curl definition. This is the second one of these that I have managed to use up this summer. Originally, I did not think this stuff was that great, but compared to that Avon stuff, this stuff is magical. I've also super super sad about it have realized that L'Oreal I'm pretty sure discontinued their anti-frizz humidity defense cream I don't know how on earth they could have done that without telling me and they don't seem to have replaced it with anything so I don't understand I don't understand why they would discontinue it but now I'm on the hunt for something that I can put in my hair before I scrunch it that will help hold the curl not frizz out uh, especially against humidity if you have any recommendations ideally drugstore based let me know down below in the comments because literally I'm contemplating in the craziest fashion ever buying two of those L'Oreal humidity creams on eBay but they're like $50 for what was like a $5 product so I don't want to do it but I'm also getting kind of desperate. I have the Shu Emu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, cleansing oil shampoo. I got this is like an Ulta uh, sample. This I thought was interesting. Uh, an oil shampoo I was a little bit weary of but I will say it's really good at making your hair feel squeaky clean. It is a thinner, almost feels like a hair oil, which would make sense being an oil shampoo. Would I buy it? No, but if I had another sample of it, I wouldn't be upset. I also wanted to try the Body Shops, the Banana Truly Nourishing Conditioner. This packaging was atrocious. It was such a pain in the butt to get product out of. The banana scent on it was pleasant though. I do like banana scented things, but 
I didn't feel like it was that magical. I am excited. They did recently launch the Ginger uh, Scalp Conditioner, which partners with their Ginger Scalp Shampoo that I really like. I'm thinking about buying it, but not until I go through a bit more of my conditioners or if there's on like a good free shipping, good sale type deal. But this I wouldn't recommend. I finally managed to finish up my first mega size of the e.l.f. daily brush cleanser. This stuff I think is just as good as when they had it in the smaller packaging. I definitely take much longer to go through these so I'm happy that they did bring out a big kahuna and I will keep working through them. All right now we got like some body miscellaneous stuff all lumped in one. First we have is my Neutrogena Ulta Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 55. This stuff is a holy grail. I'll do it in 55, 45. I don't really go above that. Um, I am happy to have worked through this. You guys will see um, once I start to actually go out in the sun, which I haven't done a lot of this summer because one, I've been crazy busy with wedding stuff and taking two grad classes, but I will whip through these bottles really quickly when I do go outside. So you'll probably see a few more of these before the summer is over, but this stuff is my holy grail. I also managed to work through this massive fortune cookie soap OCD hand sanitizer in the scent Sistas. Like, I want to say maybe two years ago at this point. I think it was two years ago. They came out with a Halloween box and this was in it. It took me so long to use one fluid ounce. They normally don't make them this big, but I have to say this had aloe vera in it and I did find the texture of this was actually pretty moisturizing on my skin. I'd be curious to see if other OCD hand sanitizers that they make have aloe vera in it because I don't feel like the textures all feel as smooth and moisturizing as this, but I just wish I didn't hate the scent so much by the end of it because the texture of it was really nice. Finished work through the Apice Purifying Exfoliant. This stuff is fine. My qualm with this is that this is not an exfoliant and a facial cleanser all in one. They're meant to be separate steps, which to me is just unnecessary, so I wouldn't buy this. I I worked through my fortune cookie soap second breakfast foaming sugar scrub. I went to Maine and I really wanted to exfoliate my skin so I brought this travel guy with me. This scent is so good. This scent is just like pancakes and sweetness. It's not as good as the breakfast scrub from Soap and Glory but it's pretty decent. I have a deodorant. This is the Degree Dry Spray in Sheer Powder. I had gotten this on clearance. I like this stuff a lot. I'm now working on another one of these, but I think my body is adapted to it, so I may have to shake things up, but I do enjoy the spray deodorants. And then lastly, I have my Marvis Whitening Mint Toothpaste. I only have one more of these, and I'm going back to regular, like, drugstore coupon toothpaste, but this was a luxurious buy and I really like this. Alright guys, that is it for me and all of the things that I have worked through. I appreciate you guys spending some of your day with me and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye!